Welcome to the news at 11 and a police detective is in the hospital right now after a shootout on Chicago's south side. The veteran officer was arriving home when a would-be robber opened fire. Our Jessica D'Onofrio joins us live from Advocate Christ Medical Center where that officer is now recovering. Jess. Well, Judy, police say the detective is in good condition and good spirits. And this morning, the hunt continues for the two men involved in this shooting. Detective Daryl Hope is recovering this morning after being shot three times by two armed men. The 55-year-old Dalton police officer was coming home after his shift at around midnight, dressed in plain clothes. Two persons that were armed approached him, took cover, and ordered him down from his porch. At that time, uh, my detective dropped his bag, and sometime during the encounter, shots were exchanged and my detective was shot. Hope was shot in the arm, abdomen, and leg, but his injuries are not life-threatening. Police believe it was an attempted robbery, but the men didn't get away with anything. Instead, they ran off. The shooting sparking an intense manhunt near 76th and Calumet. SWAT officers with heavy firepower searched backyards and alleys with the help of canine units. Community activist Andrew Holmes is a longtime friend of the detective. He spoke to him on the phone just three minutes before the shooting. I thank God he had them holy hands over him and that he's still here with us because those three minutes could have cost him his life. The Chicago Police Department is investigating the shooting and Dalton police say they're cooperating. Investigators don't believe Detective Hope was followed to his home from work. They think it was just a crime of opportunity and the suspects happened to pick a decorated police officer. He's a member of the South Suburban Crime Task Force. He's handled a number of cases for the village of Dalton. He was a former commander of the detective unit. Um, he's just a, a good police officer. So far, there is no suspect description, although one of the suspects may have been injured in this shooting. Meanwhile, all police will say is that the men were wearing dark clothing. 